We're in Oregon picking Zane's father's collection with his mother, Linda. Zane's dad had accumulated a collection of over 150 titled vehicles. Now that Frankie and I have found this 1931 Indian four-cylinder, they're telling us that there's other bikes on the property. Dang, this is awesome. We walk into the next building, and he's got cars, motorcycles, signs, motors laying all over the place, tractors. I mean, just, it's packed. Uh, Frank. Bunch of bikes back here. The Ace. Oh, wow. Look at that, Frankie. Look at Ooh. the, oh my gosh. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, what's up with this? I believe it's a 22. Wow. Out of all the four-cylinder motorcycles, the Ace is the rarest. William Henderson started the Ace Motorcycle Company in 1919 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The bikes were top of the line, they were streamlined. These bikes were considered the Duesenberg of the four cylinders. 1922 was a dark time for the company. William Henderson was out riding one of his motorcycles, was hit by a car, and was killed. That's the year of this motorcycle. Ace fell on hard times in 1924. Indian Motorcycle Company bought the company, and then they were around for a very short time after that. They were an amazing company, but very short-lived, and that's why they're so rare. You got knuckle projects, you got four-cylinder projects, you got ace four-cylinders, you got Johnny Cash Indians. I'm trying to, I'm trying to take all this in. I'm overwhelmed here. I'm feeling it. I mean, it's awesome. This is awesome awesome situation. Dad had far too many projects going on at the same time. It was a quest to make these motorcycles and cars complete. So I'm throwing around a lot of numbers in my mind. There's a lot of deals that we're kind of thinking about and that he's thinking about. So I've got to get this all scraped up and together so I could just start talking to him about what's even possible. What are we doing on any of this stuff? Like, what have you thought about selling? Um, I think we'd sell, probably sell the Ace. Oh, you would? Wow. Getting the Frasier convertible on the road, that's realistic. I think it's more realistic than getting the Ace right. going. I mean, that's an expensive bike to get going back on the road, you know? It's rare. That's, I mean, quite an undertaking. Can I talk to Frank about it for a second? If you guys are interested in selling the Ace, then I, I want to just talk to him about the finances of it all. Absolutely. Is that OK? Yeah. Can we do that? Yes, yeah. you can. All right, thank you. The ace is something I want. Gotcha. I want to finish it. Okay. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. 45,000 on the ace, mm -hmm. 5,000 on the knuckle engine, $15,000 on the Johnny Cash Special Indian, 20,000 on the 31 Indian four. It's 85,000. I know. And you're okay getting rid of it and then we get it running. You know, Dave could get it running. But I knew how you guys wanted to keep it. And... I mean, Mike's looking for my blessings on this pick. We'd have to decide on how long we're gonna keep stuff. But I'm more than a little nervous when we're talking about this kind of money. I mean, that's crazy. We'd probably have to borrow about 40,000. You know, I mean, we're talking 85, 90,000 dollars. We'd have to take a line of credit on that. The 40. The 40. How long is it we gonna have this before we recoup our 40 to $50,000? I mean, so are you, you okay think we with that? Sell? We've been burned by large purchases before, and this would be the biggest. There's a lot of numbers going around in my head right now between the price of the bikes and what it's gonna cost to rebuild the ACE engine. Where I'd like to be is, you got the Johnny Cash Special. I'm thinking 15 on that, the knuckle, engine that needs to be rebuilt. I'm thinking five on that. There's 20. The 31 chassis with the engine, I'm thinking 20 on that. Um, and then this amazing motorcycle, I'm thinking 45,000 on that. So- That'd be 85. At, I'd be at $85,000 for, Sorry, I'm not more excited. I'm just kind of a little nervous myself. <laughs> 85,000, so. Well, it's gonna take, you know, it's gonna take a lot to find the internals, you know, I mean, the rods, the pistons. The, the, the great thing about aces is they're so rare. The bad thing about aces is they're so, so rare, rare and the parts are extremely hard to find. You know, we've never spent this kind of money on a pick, but there hasn't been that many things at one time that we've had the opportunity. You know, I, I would love to, 
you know, restore this thing myself. But, you know, I understand the parts unavailability. I think we can do that. All right. All right, All right. honey. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We got it. Woo! We got there. <laughs> the deal maker was the fact that we could get several more vehicles on the road by selling all of this stuff that we wouldn't be able to otherwise. And this just will be some of Larry still living with us, you know? Cruising around. Yes. We got to get some of this stuff out here. We got to move some of this stuff. Get the Johnny Cash out. The Johnny Cash Please is will come coming out. out. Today was an epic day. The quality of the stuff that we were able to see, the opportunity to even buy these things, I was just like, wow, this is really happening. All right, so we'll have someone call you guys to get the four cylinders. Mike and Frank, they know what the good stuff is, that's for sure. Hey, God bless you, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, Zane. Thank you. Thank good you. luck Thank with you, all, you, honey. all your Rocked stuff. Up. They like the cream of the crop, like everybody else. I'd do it all over again. If they want to come out and buy some more <laughs> stuff, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you again. See bye, ya. bye. In terms of cash spent, this is the biggest pick we've ever been on. If you had told me this morning that we were going to drop $90,000, I would have said you're crazy. This was a historic day for Frank and I. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads. It's dumpster diving. It's flea markets. It's people's homes.